Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Sniper Elite VR Overview. I swear every YouTuber at this point made a video about it a couple days earlier. I'm not salty, but at the same time I'm not biased, so. I have actually a cute little backstory to this game. So back when I was still a teenager living with my parents, I was actually watching my dad playing Sniper Elite, I believe like one of the first ones. It was like my first experiences of being a spectator of someone else that plays the game. Nowadays we call like a playthroughs on YouTube. I believe at the time the game was just too scary for me to play myself, so I I enjoyed if someone else played that for me and even though I didn't do it personally I enjoyed myself as well. So I guess this kind of sparked my passion for doing gameplay videos because I enjoy showcasing gameplay to people if someone is like keen on watching it. Like for me it's an honor that someone wants to spend their time watching my gameplays. Also my dad is not dead. <laughs> the story kind of comes across like that but it was just like a cute fun little memory that I have. So Sniper Elite VR is an action shooter game I believe put in a second World War 2 scenarios in the midst of Italian forces fighting with fascists. Now let's get it out of the way. Sniper rifles are not my favorite weapon to play with <laughs> and that's gonna be interesting in this game because it should revolve all around that. I do think that I'm gonna be treating this game as a second manner of honor since the gameplay seems relatively the same so it's gonna essentially come down to the mechanics and how well the gameplay is resolved. Unpopular opinion, Medal of Honor VR to me was one of the best shooters I've ever experienced in this technology so I'm gonna be basically judging Sniper Elite on that level. Now there's no point in judging graphics for now because the trailers always skew the footage and quest one will always be like very heavily downgraded especially where you're capturing realistic scenarios but just looking at the gameplay itself i immediately noticed that you have some kind of floating numbers after shooting someone which i don't find very fun if we're talking about immersion i hope there's an option to turn off because who cares how much damage someone takes when you do a headshot like what second of all when i see kind of close combat shooting the enemy's character's models look a little bit plastic meaning they kind of lose their weight and posture when they are dying doesn't really seem realistic in terms of physics but we'll see in the actual footage i do really like that it seems like it carries some kind of campaign or storyline because essentially that's what we're missing most of the time on quest a solid story aside from the gameplay to enjoy i can already tell no matter the quality what we're gonna get i'm gonna do a playthrough simply because there's like a reason or a point to play no matter the quality of the content if you know what i mean essentially the first overview episode of this game will be captured on quest but the whole playthrough will be through virtual desktop because at the end of the day I'm pretty sure the gameplay is the same so for the sake of visuals in the footage we're gonna do the PC VR playlist. Let's get on with it. Oh, that's the start menu? Okay, options then. HUD prevalence. Does that mean damage numbers? I would like to have it low or just none. Yeah. I'm gonna see what's uh, about on the full, but then I'm gonna turn off kill cam, increase number reduced. This is this iconic scope when we shoot someone from a sniper rifle, it kind of like zooms in and just travels. I wanna see actually if I'm gonna get sick or not. If not, then I'll just turn it off. It's good to have this option. Subtitles, comfort, no vignette, smooth turn, yes. Manual reload nice offsets ammo pouch rotation speed seems like everything is in place which i'm amazed that at least this game has everything like ready on launch that's new <laughs> even colorblind mode i'm impressed in the options already so let's go <laughs> so difficulty setting maximum threat full ballistic model bullet drop indicator ah there's even bullet drop what let's do this and maybe if i will see in the playthrough it's gonna be too easy i'll switch in this age it is easy to lose sight of what we have. Family, freedom, peace. Forty years ago, the world, this place, were very different. Not a day passes when I do not think of that time, when I'm not thankful that I am still here. Thankful for them. Can I wonder about this sound fade one subtitles go? We, fight? we fought so they would not have to. So they would never have to live through the horrors we faced. After capturing Sicily, the Allies prepared to assault mainland Italy. While the Nazis strengthened their defenses in the south, we partisans fought to weaken them and hasten the end of fascist control of our homeland. Interesting. The town of Pazzano was under attack. We fought to hold the Nazis back and to buy time for my partisan comrades to capture one of their artillery pieces. 
Okay. I needed a rifle. Stealth rifle by putting it over your shoulder. And bullets too. <laughs> I moved to the window. The town was already burned. Ah, like that. Walk here. A rifle. What's going on? I can't grab it. Only from left hand? Weird. Well, that works properly, okay. Pull the bolt back. Mm. Retrieve ammo from your belt. Why my belt is like curved? <laughs> Okay. I took a few moments to test the weapon and my aim. Uh huh. Squeeze trigger to fire, but to what? <laughs> I rushed to rechamber the rifle. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, what's happening like that? If you bring scope too close, it disappears. <laughs> Hold to steady aim. Oh. Jesus, this is trembling like crazy. I'm not on cocaine. <laughs> if you lose a weapon, you can recover it by grabbing the empty holster. Before leaving, I used the radio to send my position to my comrades. I like that it's navigating like that. Ah, it's a safe point, okay. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Although it seemed hopeless, Dante led from the front, rallying us to hold the walls. I had to get to Dante and help him. I like that it's like telling you what to do, but in a form of a story. Before I could reach him. Dante was gone. I would mourn later. At first, I had an enemy to kill. Here's the HUD, and let's see how that works now. Yes! I'm gonna keep the flying bullet thing because it's too iconic to not have and I'm pretty sure I won't get uh, Lacomore sick. It's good to watch because I remember when I was watching my father. It looks great on the screen. Maybe not necessarily in VR but we'll see. Yeah, I prefer to not see like, you know, the count of the bullets and stuff like that. This is VR we're talking about. Nice! I have to say the graphics are not bad. I expected worse for Quest. The environments in the distance look kinda questionable, but it's not the worst. Yeah, I won't get sick, that's fine. It flies too fast for my eyes to kinda notice. Let me shoot without this focus. Yeah, maybe that's gonna be better. Sometimes, I guess. Should we go? I think we should go. <laughs> Our leader, my friend, had given his life begging the Allies to send help. We didn't know if it was coming, but for his sake, we hoped and we fought on. Oh, damn. <laughs> for some reason, I'm shooting the head, but it's like in the body. I'm assuming this is this ballistics or bullet drop off. Now. <laughs> oh, even the objective is like hidden. Okay. Maybe I'll turn this minimal HUD because I don't see the objectives. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's 
stop it. The tanks had arrived and we had nothing that could stop them. Our comrades had to capture that artillery gun. Artillery gun? Oh. <laughs> Stop it! They had done it! The captured artillery destroyed the tank and bought us another chance. Not bad, I'm pretty impressed so far. The Nazi attack had been a reprisal for the death of a senior German officer. The kill ordered by Dante, the fatal bullet fired by me. The Germans knew. We were responsible, and they struck back without mercy, killing partisans and villagers alike. It was a slaughter. With Dante's death, we'd lost our leader. It would have been easy for us to give up, to lose hope. Instead, we strengthened our resolve. We would need it for what was still to come. So I guess we were kind of telling the story. This place has so many memories. Hmm. The character models doesn't look bad at all as well. Like for quest capabilities, we have to understand there are limitations. Really expected so potato graphics, but it's not that bad. Oh, <laughs> so this is like a main menu, I'm assuming, and then memories, aka missions. This is essentially the same exact situation with Medal of Honor. Missions are not like smooth, we're just loading through the stages, which is fine. I don't mind it. Seems like there are even collectibles. I didn't even notice. I'll have to definitely look for that. I wonder if it unlocks something. Rifle range, SMG range, pistol range. Okay, so we we'll just not have one weapon to choose from. Dante and his partisans needed an isolated place to hide out and train, and my father wanted to help. Our home became the headquarters for the local resistance. Uh -huh. This is where my father taught me to shoot. Now we're getting the tutorial? Okay. Interesting dynamic. He would stay here for hours, making me practice with his Carcano M91, a relic from the Great War. Critiquing every shot. I drew on the hours I had spent with father's rifle. I'm assuming I'm gonna use focus when the target is too far away. Calmness, focus, breathing. These were the skills I honed. I do love that we have manual reloading, obviously. Thank God. I saw my hands really tremble when I'm in the scope. And I have to as well think about the fall off and just like the distance traveling with the bullet. That's the first time I have to do it. I knew where each shot would land before I even pulled the trigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really have to have turned on at least low HUD prevalence because even the missions are not like apparent where to go. I would prefer to have nothing, just that. Hopefully it won't like be too invasive. An ugly weapon, but effective. Why it's blue though? Real test, can I unlock it with my teeth? <sighs> really? Ah, oh, come on. of thought and action. The shot became natural, like throwing a stone. Worst game, 0 out of 10. <laughs> I tell you this is so satisfying to just pick up the pin with your mouth and then just throw a grenade, but oh well. Reload, I mean, yeah, obviously the hell, <laughs> it's not the first time I use a pistol. Oh, it's like in my armpit? That's kind of weird. <laughs> I trained at every opportunity, pushing myself to perfect my skills. Is there like a scope? Yeah, it's very little though. 
I had to improve with the pistol. It had advantages over the rifle in close quarters. Oh, okay, that's crouching. <laughs> Oh wait, I can focus with my pistol. Oh, okay, it's good to know. <laughs> I began to feel at one with the weapon. Good for you. <laughs> I soon lost count of the hours I spent at those ranges. My comrades' lives might depend on me hitting my target. What the hell is this texture for this? Okay, this one has as well. Nice. What's the fall off with one hand? Huge. Nice. Wait, I just noticed the genitals on this paper cuts. <laughs> Precision mattered less than speed. In the early days, we had to make do with what we had. Doing our best to pick the right tool for the job. Oh my god, this is hard. <laughs> we often had to gather what weapons and supplies we could from the battlefield. Slowly improving our arsenal. I don't know which one is good. Like, I'm gonna look through the scopes, I guess, right? Then I'll judge. Okay, we played with this. Okay, this is better a little bit. <laughs> Does that make a difference for me? <laughs> Mishi Mashi. I'll take this one. I like this one better. Oh, I'll place in the box. Okay. It doesn't really open as well? Kinda weird. Over time, the repetition of training helped me to separate the shots from the lives I took. So it seems like the whole story and just like interactions with your past and family is happening here. And then you just choose missions. Okay, well, we'll stop it here for now. Then we'll continue on the PC VR version. So far, the gameplay is fine. It's not better than Medal of Honor, in my opinion. But it seems smooth enough for me, not a veteran of shooters. The graphics for quests are not bad at all, actually. Like, this is kinda a good job. You can tell there are some blurriness and just mismatched textures like blockiness. But it's not that bad. It could have been definitely worse. I mean. I mean, the whole vibe of Sniper Elite is conserved here. The sniper cam, feeling like you're an actual sniper just shooting in the Second World War. The commotion is fine, the models look fine. From what I see on the first glance, everything seems to be working for now. I'm not one of those that complain about the loading screen in between the missions. Like, Men of Honor had the same thing, but to me, it was not even a problem. I never got why people were so bad hurt. Not so immersion breaking for me. I do have to say, I really like the options it has here. You can really just customize your experience. Everything seems seems to be in place and just ready to enjoy and play. That's what I'm missing most of the time from games, not being able to modify anything. Good job, like at least the devs understand that here. So far so good, so I'm excited to do a play for it, you know? Those dark clouds appear to be a vision for the future or the past, whatever. <laughs> See you on the PCVR!